So welcome. Um, a couple notes. All right. So very, very proud um, of this facility. Um, it's got flash. It's got functionality. Um, it was it was made for it was built or remodeled, however you want to renovate it, whatever you want to say, for a couple different reasons. For our current players, all right, because they deserve it. For recruiting, because that's the future. Um, and also, it should be a, a source of pride for, for former players, former coaches. Um, a lot of hard work. And I'm going to kind of go through this because I think it's really important. Is from President Gee and his entire um, staff at Stewart Hall, uh, Board of Governors, because they had to make the decision to allow March Weston, who did a tremendous job on the facility, to work through the pandemic. So, a lot of trust there. Shane Lyons, Kelly Zinn, um, really helping make this vision come true. And then April Messerly in the athletic department um, is, is hand in hand with the whole uh, staff behind her that's really worked with her. And then here, Patrick Johnston and Coleman Barnes have really been with the, this process ever since we got here, going back to, to January of, of 19. And so I'll say this, what we're gonna do is, I want this to be interactive, you ask questions. We're gonna start here in the Hall of Traditions. If you all wanna come back and kind of kind of play, and look around and do that, we're not necessarily gonna do that right now. I'm gonna show you a couple of the features. Um, I think too, I think it's, I think it's, uh, it's it probably, there's three big moments that we've had here where I was like almost, uh, probably a little emotional on it, is, um, First of all, is Coach Meadham came. We were able to show him around. Um, and this was this was back in the spring when everything was done. Not necessarily all the finishing touches, but he was one of the first person that came in here, and uh, and he was excited. We were able to show him his display there and walk him through. That was really neat. Um, and then we had our uh, our first recruiting weekend, which you know that was a whole different deal. It's been since uh, almost 15 months since anybody been on campus be able to open up and bring them in this facility through this door just like you're coming through that was and then last week um, um, Bill Stewart's family's wife and son came over here and were able to tour and uh, we were able to play some things so that was that was neat but I'm glad y'all here um, I'm gonna I'll lead the tour if you got questions ask okay and so this is how in, in, in here so Hall of Traditions, right? If you remember, it used to be in the back corner. It was really hard for, for fans to get into. Um, and now it's right here at the front. And it'll be accessible. There's uh, some technology use in here, but there's also some real artifacts, right? And it goes from anywhere you can create your own uniform, which is great for recruiting. It's great for, for young people. My man Dax is over there. That's the first thing he, <laughs> he wants to do. And so, um, and then we've got the history of the program is all around. BCS bowls, uh, trophy cases, all that. Um, the one thing that's a little bit we've got some work to do is on this back uh, pillar over here is some Hall of Fame and some, some letter winners. We gotta get some, there's there's one little glitch in that we've gotta get worked out, um, but we will. Here's, here's the, I think the neatest thing in this is when you come in here, obviously we have great, uh, great views uh, from the outside looking in, and this board shows really neat at night. And then you have, if you want to walk over, you're free to walk over. But these balls, if you touch them, they'll play highlights from the key win. So uh, if you want to go and go 08 West Virginia Bowling versus Oklahoma, you hit the ball. In 2008, the number of Virginia defeated the number of free old balls. Uh, 48 to 28. We got out one. Stunning number three of the ball in the 2000s. You know, 